Hello YouTube. Today we're gonna do a tear down video of this Omoto reel, uh, and then clean it. I break this video down into two parts. First part is the take down and tear down video, and the second part is gonna be the cleaning and the reassemble. So basically, you will need some tools for this: one flat head screwdriver, one Phillips head screwdriver. A wrench, dental pick, two cups, Q-tips, and some paper towel. Okay, let's get to this. First, you will need the uh, flat screwdriver to remove the plate from the frame. To do this, very simple. Just three screws on the side. Actually. It has grooves on it. You can loosen it. My finger. And then pull this thing out. The XO is going to attach to this frame. So take the XO out. And then I noticed something. On the on the frame screw, it has a gasket underneath the screw, so that will prevent water getting to that will prevent water get getting to the um, the plate. Then use the flat screwdriver. Take this retaining screw off, and then take the retainer off. Then use the wrench to loosen up the cap. Now you will see a C-clip holding everything down. That's when you need the dental pick to take this thing out. Just make sure you put your finger on the C-clip so it doesn't fly off. By acting, by after you remove the C clips, you can actually take the handle off. Then the star drag. Take this thing off. Now you will see two washers. These are tension washers, spring washers. And then there are two screws holding the cover onto the frame. I'm sorry, onto the plate. So take these two screws off. And once again, they have gasket underneath screws. I think it's a very good feature. Okay, now you can lift the cover off. So the internal parts is very simple, just like an ambassador wheel. It has the uh, spring. Plate. Oh, actually, on the Ambassador series reels, this part, this brass part right here, is actually white plastic. But on this thing, it's brass. I think you know, brass is longer. Uh, it's gonna last longer than the regular plastic. And then your. Uh, Crank handle shaft 
and the main gear. So basically, uh, uh, several washers and uh, drag washers in there. Just take these off. These are carbon fiber washers. Just lay them down in order. So when you put everything back, you don't forget the order. Yeah, it's pretty greasy inside. Okay, so I noticed something else. It actually has a dog system on the frame. So basically, this part and this part go together. It works as an anti reverse system. You only see these type of system on older ambassador reels. Especially anything that has a serial number before 9905. It's gonna have the exact system. But they don't have the instant anti-reverse bearing in the frame. Right here instant anti-reverse bearing the older ones doesn't have this so it's very cool then you lift this part the plastic holder that holds the painting gear and you can just take, take the painting gear separate these two Then the uh, clutch arm, spool tension release button, and the arm link. Okay, let's see the uh, crank handle side of the reel. Very simple design. Looks just like a uh, Ambassador 6500. Then we're gonna get to the uh, the other side of the uh, reel. It's actually three. It has three Phillips head screws holding down this this part of the reel. Usually it's pretty greasy in the uh, Ambassador series. So let's see. Huh. It's actually not greasy at all. So I don't think we need to clean this part. But uh we're gonna add a little bit oil to this to this part. So and your uh Magnetic brake here. There's there are one, two, three mag magnets on it, and uh, they leave the fourth one open, so you can mo actually move around these magnets to have a um, different braking effect. And the spool is spinning. This is the part one of the uh, uh, a model reel breakdown video in the second one we're gonna reassemble and loop this reel thanks for watching if you like my video please sub subscribe to my channel